everyone, this is April, the artist behind Invoke Art Sense. Today is an exciting day because I'm unboxing my new Sminka watercolor set. I bought this a month ago on Amazon. It was $209 and it's going for $199. That usually happens. Things are things go on sale after I buy them, but that's okay. And also these great watercolor brushes that I've also bought on Amazon for $27. 99 or 27.50. They're not available right now. I'm not sure. Maybe they just don't have them anymore. But I'm lucky to have them. I was searching for some good brushes, and these brushes will be used exclusively for my Sminka watercolor set because they are. I wouldn't say they're the best top of the line, but they sure are better than I've ever used before. And I only used two of them. The brown brushes to swatch with them today but do they hold water yes and they keep their shape i've never owned a professional watercolor paint set or a good set of brushes just middle of the line stuff not too cheap but not expensive and this was not cheap it was very expensive and it cost an arm and a leg but in the end I think it'll be worth it. I'm really excited to really dive in and use this set. I, I'm not doing any kind of art in this video. It's just a straight unboxing and swatching. And next time I will do a watercolor painting with them. Online you will find Sminka's labels and symbols meaning breakdown. For the first one, light fastness, five for extremely light fast and one for less light fast and there were none of those and there were actually a lot of fives. Non-staining, semi-staining, staining and the color numbers, price groups, there was one, four, threes and twos and then you will find transparencies and the pigment meanings. And I'm writing the those things on the sides of the pans, the transparency, staining, and the light fastness score scores. So I will always be able to just look quickly while I'm working. I did not write it on my swatch sheet. On the swatch sheet, I wrote down the numbers and the names, but I don't need to do that. Just on the pans itself, I have the light fastness. And they all conform to ASTM. The labels, when you take them off and look on the inside, contains the pigment information. And 22 of them, not 22 of them, 20 of them contains isa, isothiazolinones. Which I don't know if that's super dangerous, but that's 90% of, of this. Uh, these colors are mo the majority of them. And we have one cobalt green dark that has a caution for cobalt spinal. I'm not sure if that's going to be bad. And cadmium yellow light and cadmium red light, which I know, I know these uh, have cadmium compounds. And it also has isa diozolinone. So I think all of them. All of them contain the first ingredient that's a caution that has caution on it, and I just figured most colors nowadays have the cadmium hue, but I guess Sminka still has those. And we have, last but not least, nickel nickel compounds and isothiazolinones for Naples yellow, and I figure also nickel can't be good. I will still use these colors. Um, I mean, hey, there's a lot more out there that could kill me, so I, I'm not gonna worry. I'm just gonna take caution when I use them. But it does surprise me a little bit, especially about the cadmium ones, because most um, companies nowadays they don't use cadmium; they use the cadmium hue. But it's just something that you should know and be aware of, and that's why they put them on the labels. I'm not sure if I will keep the labels. I'm still thinking about it. The last time I bought a watercolor set that had labels like that, I did keep them, but I never really refer back to them. That's why it's important to do your swatches. And it's I'm really happy that they gave a swatch, you know, sheet 
and this is a first because other lower cost watercolor companies don't give a, a swatch sheet out, obviously. The more expensive professional ones usually do. And I swatched them like the Sminka way. They Sminka on the back of the swatch sheet, it does say first you put the color on the top and then you put water on the bottom and then you go to the middle and then the water and the pigments will make, mix naturally. I think that method is really good even though it doesn't blend from the most opaque to the lightest color, lightest tone of the color that you can get, but it really does show the beautiful vibrant colors. And so all these colors have like a three digit number that they did write on the actual pans, but I wrote the color names as well. And the color names are pretty similar to most names I have seen before, some a little bit different. And these brushes hold water very well. They keep their shape and they just uh, work they they have a fine point to them and I could have used the ten that I used in the beginning but it was just a little bit better to use the eight just to for comfort really and I would say that the colors here are all great there's no sap green but there are the majority of the colors that I I would like to have in my palette. I would say that there are two yellows that look very similar, but one is cool and one is warm. And there's a lot of blues in the set that I'm really happy to see, including Cerulean Blue and something I've never seen, which is Helio Cerulean. And they also have Helio Turquoise, which is not really turquoise. It looks more like a blue, but it's still a pretty blue and just has more variety. And they do have Thalo Green, which looks like a kind of turquoise. And Cobalt Green Dark is the most expensive pigment in this set. And it's actually really pretty too. And they, I'm just super happy they have a Naples Yellow. I love to use Naples Yellow for skin tones. There's a lot of earth tones and they include an ivory black, which is like a brown black, which is better than just a normal black. I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing and swatching and look forward to the first video of me actually using this set along with my first impressions. And see you next time for the next exciting video. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell invokers. Goodbye, everyone.